Hello, welcome to All Star Discs. Um, now, remember back in the 1980s, it was Bruno and Liz on the Radio 1 Breakfast Show. In the 2020s, <laughs> you've got Derek and Emma presenting All Star Discs. We are your modern day legends, and we're here to talk legends, aren't we? <laughs> the fact that you've called us legends, <laughs> I think it's quite funny. Uh, let's not do a poll of who you would prefer. Uh, but we have got some great legends. We are on the red carpet. We are ready to give you some snippets of memorabilia when it comes to the music world and we have got some great ones for you as well uh, we've got Pink Floyd we've got the Beatles we've got Whitney Houston we've got Cher we have got so many of your favorites and we were talking about music um, in the fact that it is part of everybody's everyday life it's in part one of our way fabric isn't it, it every is. single person has that association with music mm. and all of these gold discs that we hear, see behind us by the way they can all be yours right now because every single one of them is a slice of exclusivity for you because these gold discs that you will see through this show and right the way through the website on allstardiscs.tv you are going to want to have because they are the ultimate collectible gift for someone in your life or if you're topping up your own collection mm. with your own legends this is brilliant fill a wall with them yeah, you know what? They are such good talking points as well, Yeah, I think, aren't they? Once it's on the wall, especially if you go for the gold disc, I just think it is kind of like a beacon of light. You kind of just kind of go straight up to it, don't you? And then you, it's a bit of a talking point. Then you start saying, oh, I remember, you know, going to see Beyonce in concert or listening to Queen or it kind of takes you kind of down memory lane, I think, doesn't it? Everything that you see as well on the website and here is exclusive to us as well. And you're not going to find it anywhere else. You you could have a slice of exclusivity because there are 150 and you can have one of those so really you've gotten a piece of music history I think really, absolutely well, and do you know the great thing about this we're not just saying legends and icons you've heard of every single yeah. one of them I can guarantee that right shall we get started then because we've got a very very busy show we've got the mm. Beatles and Queen and Elton John and Fleetwood Mac and all sorts coming up in this show oh yeah cannot wait we are gonna start with a pick Pink Floyd. You know what? I love how simplistic this album cover is. It looks brilliant. It really, really does. This is the dark side of the moon. It was released by Harvest Records in 1973. Now, the dates of the releases as well, I think, is really good, especially if someone was born in that year. It's just something quite nice as well, isn't it, to get them, which is brilliant. So, someone's birthday, 1973. They're a Pink Lloyd fan. This could be for them. I think as well, everyone is going to recognise the album cover, because I have to yeah. say, you know, I mean, some groups you follow more than others through your life. And so Pink Floyd hasn't come into my life too many times. Mm. But that album cover with the prism there yeah. is so iconic, isn't yeah. it? I mean, for me, the ultimate Pink Floyd song for me personally is Another Brick in the Wall. But then that's because I'm an 80s child. Oh, OK. So this is a little bit previous to me, Dark Side of the Moon, I think. <laughs> Only a little bit. I was born in this year, but not by March. Oh, right, OK. <laughs> <laughs> He's not saying any more. He's going to give it away. No. Um, again, 45 million copies were sold worldwide, which is a heck of a lot. Now, these are a great size as well. They are 16 inches by 20 inches. So they're not too big, but it's a substantial piece. It's a really, really good size. It's framed. It's mounted for you. There's a hook on the back as well. So all you have to do is knock on a nail and then just pop it up. And you've also got a certificate of authenticity that comes with all of these. Now, you can have a look at a lot more as well. Allstardisc.tv. Go and have a look on the website. And you can be owning something which is limited edition and you know what we all like a little bit of exclusivity i know it sounds a bit selfish but we all sometimes want something that other people haven't got yeah Do completely you know I mean? honestly and and that's what this is all about it it is all about it's about commemorating your love of music it's maybe about adding to a collection it's maybe about giving someone in your life something that really does mean something to them um, because if you think about it through all the big things that happen in your life, 
there's a piece of music that goes with that, or there's an album that goes with that, or there's a memory of buying that album. Where did I buy it from? Did I have it on vinyl? Did I have it on tape? Did I have it, you know, like you've got all of those memories going on. So if you are interested in this one for someone that you love, or maybe it's just for you right now, all you need to do is go to our website, allstardiscs.tv, and for Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon, your item number there is 2561. Now you can see the price has already been discounted from our All Star price price to just $199.99 and you can spread the cost of that interest free as well which is really really good news. Now listen you will want to have a good peruse right the way through the website because all of the iconic stars and groups and legends are all on our website. Bear in mind as well they are all limited edition so when the limited edition is sold out they will not be repeated in the same format ever again. So this is your chance to get that little slice of something special that to be honest with you as well this will be, we always talk about these days, everything's on computers and gadgets and everything's digital. There's nothing mm. tangible anymore in, in this world, is there? But this is going to be the heirloom of the future as well. So this will be something you'll be passing down the generations of your family as something physical and something tangible and something that feels like it has that real heart and soul collection. Yeah, it sure does. Now we're gonna be moving on to Elton John next. This is one of your favorites today. You love Elton John. This is Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Released in 1973 as a double LP, actually. Can I just tell you, I was just completely coincidentally in the last fortnight, I've had this on vinyl on my turntable playing it, um, and I love it because it's just one of those you know, when you're having dinner, it's just one of those you can put on in the background mm. and it's you know all of the songs straight away. Yeah. You listen to the words. The more you listen to songs, the more you hear the words. So you've got Benny and the Jets on there. Benny uh, Saturday and the Night's Jets. All Right for Fighting. And the original version of Candle in the Wind. Yes. Of course, the tribute to uh, Marilyn, Marilyn Monroe. Marilyn Monroe, Monroe yes. It? Um, so yeah, Goodbye it looks great. Very nice and colourful. Follow the Yellow Brick Road. That's what I think of the Wizard of Oz. Um, but you've got collaborators on there as well. Bernie Taupin was on there. So this is just brilliant. If anyone is an Elton John fan, and like you say, you know, you were listening to this album yeah. whilst you're at home yeah. at a particular time of year where, you know, there's not much going on right now. No. But it'd be something that you remember when you hear one of the songs. I tell you what, I for me, this album, um, Benny and the Jets, I don't know what the story is behind Benny and the Jets because it kind of has a story of its own. But Elton gets to some of the highest notes that I've uh. ever heard. Like, forget Ed Sheeran, we're way beyond that in Benny and the Jets as yeah. well, which is why he maybe can't get to that kind of like he'll take the lower range these days when he's singing that because I've seen more recent live performance of it but you listen to that and even if you've never heard Benny of the Jets before it kind of it kind of gets you it kind of yeah. you know works its way into your soul can, can I tell you something else about Elton John that I know do he lives very very close to the Queen Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just outside Windsor Great Park. That's where Elton John has his uh, estate now. I have driven, I could take you to his driveway because I know exactly where it is. I oh won't. Oh dear. Because you've got a restraining order. Uh, yeah. yeah, I haven't <laughs> been able to go there since the, uh, since the order. Um, but I tell you what, what an icon. And I've said in, in other shows where we've uh, featured Elton as well, what an absolute, not just an icon, not just a legend, every single person, I think, recognises, knows, has some connection with an Elton John song somewhere in their lives. Because I think he's been part of everybody's lives over the years as well. And I think we have a huge respect for Elton as well. He's travelled, he's loved around the world, he's travelled around the world, and he's still working. If you said to him right now, Elton, will you, will you just come and support this charity, just come and do a couple of numbers for, for us? he'd be absolutely their heart and soul and supporting the next generation in the music industry as well. So this is a real tribute uh, to Elton John. And if you want this one, here's how you do it. Log on now to allstardiscs.tv to grab yourself a piece of authentic music memorabilia. For that special on-screen price, you'll receive an exclusive framed and mounted presentation display that will look fabulous in any home, office or business. Order today and you'll enjoy free UK P&P, saving $9.99. Plus, you can choose to spread the cost of your purchase over six interest-free payments. So, don't miss out. Each release is limited to only 150 pieces worldwide. And when they've gone, they've gone. 
Order yours now at allstardiscs.tv. It's so easy. And as well, when you do have a look on the website, you might see some little red signs, a light red signs. It means there's discounts on there as well, up to £50. So great discounts, not just on there, but on the show today as well. Now, we've been through a few legends, you know, earlier on in the show, but let's have a look at what else that you can get your hands on. There's a few little gems on the website. The likes of the Beatles and Abbey Road. Now this is iconic. Who'd have thought some blokes crossing a road on a zebra crossing would mean so much to so many people? It's just an ordinary street in an ordinary place yeah. that has now become one of the most recognisable places on earth. Yeah, amazing. Here comes the sun is on there as well, which is great. Apple Records in 1969, that album came out, which is just brilliant. So you can get your hands on that if anybody is a big Beatles fan. Wonderful. Here we have an absolute queen queen of the night she was of course in the bodyguard Whitney Houston and the greatest hits from May 2000 and um, the sales again went skyrocket they went through the roof after she passed away in 2012 you've got the classics on there the greatest love of all one moment in time I have nothing great film the bodyguard if you haven't watched it stick it on because uh, Kerry oh. Potts is a bit of eye candy for you as well if you want to watch that and we've also got Bruce Springsteen born in the USA now that is something that you can just kind of get onto your roof and belt out that song, can't <laughs> you? For sure. Um, he's got uh, nominations for Album of the Year at the Grammy Awards, uh, Dancing in the Dark, I'm on Fires in there, and of course, Born in the USA. I love that. And recently immortalised on the Great Pottery Throwdown as well, Bruce Springsteen. So that's brought him back into really? lots and lots of people. Yeah, lots of people. They had a, a, an icons week where they all had to uh, make an icon out of clay. Um, and I think it was Alon who made a Bruce Springsteen. And it was amazing. The hair band, the big hair as well. Brilliant. Now, all of these that you've seen here um, are at the same price as well for you. They are incredible value for money. And remember, of course, you can split the cost of any of those down into interest-free payments as well. The full selection all on our website at allstardiscs.tv. But let's carry on, pop pickers, taking our <laughs> trip through the decades here. Oh, it's, it does take me back to my days of being a DJ, I tell you that. I know, I can tell by that shirt. I know, I'm loving it. <laughs> I feel like Timmy Mallet. Right, we've got some of our CD and photo displays now. Slightly different format to the gold disc. It might be quite nice to have one of each side by side, I think, wouldn't it? So again, have a little peruse on the website for that. Here you are looking at Queen's Greatest Hits. These are all such a good size as well. 16 by 20 inches. They are mounted, which is brilliant. They are framed as well, so you don't have to do any of that. These come with a silver frame, just like all of the CD and photo displays, but they are still limited edition as well. So the one that you get, nobody else will have, and there's only 150 worldwide. Great hook on the back as well, so you can just stick Queen wherever you want in your house. I love the fact that Don't Stop Me Now um, is on this one because, again, that's a song that mm -hmm. follows many people through their lives and, and, and it often coincides with something significant that's happened to them. Maybe yeah. that's when um, y your firstborn was born. Maybe that was when you got married, maybe that was when you got a significant job or you can remember who you worked mm -hmm. for when, uh, or worked with when that song came out. Um, it's brilliant. Um, and Bohemian Rhapsody, of course, is in there. I defy anyone not yeah. to know a little bit of Bohemian Rhapsody. I think it's the energy of those songs as well. So yeah. I do quite a bit of running. And if any of those songs come on, literally, I think, you know what, I can do this. Yeah. And it really does power me through. Yeah. I think, you know what, I can get to the end. I can do that extra few steps. Uh, but this is brilliant if anybody loves Queen. This is from 1981, EMI Records. I remember you looking at limited edition here as well. Um, Bohemian Rhapsody was just great, I think. Oh, uh, um, awesome. Another one bites the dust on there as well, which is a great song. Isn't it funny as well, with songs that are the length of Bohemian Rhapsody, maybe when it came out, when it first came out, I'm not sure I had the time for it. And I think as the <laughs> years went on, I had a greater respect for it the yeah. more I took the time a little bit later in life yeah. to really listen to it and really kind of take it in. Isn't it funny how music does that to you? It can kind of follow you around and, and sort of be on the realms of your consciousness. And then later on in life, you'll have a better appreciation for it. You listen to the words in a different way. 
you sing along in a way that you didn't, you pick up bits and pieces along the way. And there's all those associations as well. You know, maybe it was, you know, maybe you remember the kind of telly that you used to watch it on when the videos came on top of the pops or whatever it might have been. That's the thing with music. There are so many memories associated with it as well. So if you want a little slice of that, a real nice exclusive collectible as well, remember, because this is a limited edition of 150. So the number you get is absolutely exclusive to you. No one in the world will ever have that. It's such an affordable price tag as well, I think, for something that is a it's a lovely, lovely gift to buy someone. Um, and it's a gift that really does keep giving because, again, the pride you would feel for owning something like this is one thing. The talking point, the collectability, the exclusivity, you know, it can go anywhere in your life as well. And to have a little bit of that gold disc experience, I mean, that feels really, really special. So Queen's Greatest Hits, item number 2264, and you'll find it on our website at allstardiscs.com. TV, right? Okay, so they were London-based, I think, weren't they, Queen? I think, roughly speaking, oh, I think. I probably were. I think they were. Are we heading up north now? We are. We're going. We're going northwest. We are going northwest. <laughs> uh, Liverpool, of course. The Beatles and the album "Let It Be," which was released released in May 1970. Now that was almost after a month after the group broke up of course, remember. And then they came out with a, a film of the same name. So that's something, again, that you could probably go and have a bit of a look ah. at, I think, if you've got a bit of time on your hands right now. Um, Let It Be won a Grammy Award as well, which is amazing, again, for the motion picture. And it is just brilliant. I love the kind of, is that a golden delicious? Or is that a pink lady? What kind of apple is that? Uh, just a real kind of standout piece. Now, remember, this is the CD and photo display. We do have the gold disc and we've got the CD and photo display. So it's kind of what you want, really. Um, but again, such a good size, 16 by 20, silver framed, hook on the back, pop it up on your wall. Maybe you kind of want to start to do a bit of a collection because we have seen some other Beatles memorabilia as well in some of the shows previous. So if you do want to go for, you know, collect them all, this is a good start. And of course, this was the album that uh, all the Beatles fans had to have because it was the first release um, after the breakup. And the mm. breakup must have been very, very, I mean, I, can't, I, wasn't, I wasn't around in 1970, but I imagine it was quite traumatic because musically they were so massive so iconic i mean icon is a is a word that's banded around left right and center yeah <clears throat> maybe a little bit too much these days but the beatles really were i mean well if you look at the footage of when they did break up and literally the girls everybody was just i remember when take that split up it was yeah. so bad literally yeah. footage of people crying people yeah. not eating yeah. feeling really ill so it's kind of kind of shows really what an impact these legends do have on people and have on us. And I think actually, um, as a gift, this is really, really good because again, the Beatles were a bit like, you know, other groups where quite often um, ladies had their Beatle. Yes, okay, yeah. So yeah. They, would have, they would have maybe, you know, sort of, lusted slightly if that's the right word uh, <laughs> You're towards, being tame there. towards one you know uh, over others because I, I guess John Lennon was always seen as sort of taken wasn't he so he was less of a less of a heartthrob mm -hmm. whereas uh, it's funny now to see all the moustaches and everything yeah. now because you kind of think <laughs> gosh what were people thinking but that's how things were back then um, so maybe it was uh, it was Paul for you maybe it was Ringo I mean I, I don't know See, everyone has their own association. Funny for me, the association here is actually hearing the re-release of um, Let It Be in, I think it was the early 80s, um, with Ferry Aid, which is sort of like a Band-Aid type of thing, um, following something, some terrible tragedy that happened down in, um, in Kent. Um, and for me, that song stayed with me through part of my childhood as well which is a really lovely association with the Beatles because I you know I sort of came along long after the Beatles and see that's the thing for anyone these things can be equally as collectible as well it's a wonderful album remember it was their first post breakup album release as well and that's why this one is so significant the Beatles obviously speak for themselves so if you'd like to add this to your collection the item number then is 2075 at just 129.99 which is incredible and here's how you get yours 
Log on now to allstardiscs.tv to grab yourself a piece of authentic music memorabilia. For that special on-screen price, you'll receive an exclusive framed and mounted presentation display that will look fabulous in any home, office or business. Order today and you'll enjoy free UK P&P, saving $9.99. Plus, you can choose to spread the cost of your purchase over six interest-free payments. So, don't miss out. Each release is limited to only 150 pieces worldwide. And when they've gone, they've gone. Order yours now at allstardiscs.tv. These are such lovely shows to do, aren't they? They are, mean... they are fun. I feel like we are on a red carpet at an award ceremony. Yeah. You've got your glad bag shirt on. I We've have. got gold discs around us. So, yeah. And it's a lovely walk down memory lane, isn't it? I hope mm. you're sharing some memories as we go along as well. Now, next up, we've got a group that I don't personally feel that I know that much about. But yet, I feel like you only have to hear a couple of bars of their songs and you go... <gasps> I know straight away. Yeah, I must admit, so we're looking at Fleetwood Mac right now, and they've never really been on my radar, but when I have heard a couple of their songs, because my husband likes Fleetwood Mac, I do kind of go, I didn't know they sang that song. Yes. You can do that quite a lot with music, yes. can't you? I love that song. I did not know that they sang that song, but this is an amazing album. Rumours. It was their 11th album as well, which is great, from Warner Brothers Records in 1977. It feels like Rumours is the one that everyone, if you, if you said, quick, name a Fleetwood Mac album, that's that would be what the one that to. first yeah, so came to mind. That's the one that I would recognise, yes. yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh, Go Your Own Way is on there, Amazing Dreams is on there, Don't Stop and You Make Loving Fun. So I think actually when I go home this evening, I might ask the husband, just my, sorry, my second favourite husband, Absolutely. Uh, to stick it on. I, I, and and, and you'll know all of those songs. I mean, when you say Go Your Own Way, you, you can straight away, you can hear it, can't you? you can uh, which is great, exactly. Way. And dreams as well, because, you know, they're all really recognisable. I love this. I mean, I love the whole gold disc experience that we've got here at All Star Disc, because that's really lovely. Imagine where this is going to go in your home. Where would you have yours, for instance? I think I would, as you walk into the house, we've got a bit of a hallway. I'd start to have them sort of oh, lined bit up. A bit of a corridor of fame. I think so, yeah. Or going up the stairs. That would be that would be wonderful. To have a few going up the stairs mm. would be brilliant. It would make you look like a big, you know, a big record producer, wouldn't it? It would. Oh, you were know, you something to do with Fleetwood Mac? And you could go, yeah, of course I was. I think as well, <laughs> this would be good, maybe if someone's a music teacher and they're working from home and, of course, with the home office, etc. Or maybe be when things do start opening again like dance academies and uh, music academies to kind yeah. of get a bit of memorabilia on the wall so for example at the local football club when we would go there there were different uh, football shirts yeah. and there was boxing gloves and yeah. sign memorabilia that sort of thing and I think it'd be quite nice to really start a bit of a collection be nice, uh, a bit like uh, if you've got something like, uh, you know, a coffee bar or a restaurant or something like that, you know, where everything's back open again. It would be quite nice, again, as a talking point, because I think actually when other people see this um, as well, you'll start having those conversations about, oh, yeah, I used to have that on vinyl or I used to have that album on tape or, or whatever it might be. Again, there's all those memories associated with it. And I think that's really, really lovely. And it makes it really something that's quite heartfelt, quite meaningful, but it means something different every single person as well. So Fleetwood Mac Rumours is item number 2413. You just get that by going onto the website, allstardiscs.tv. 199.99, which of course you can break down into interest-free payments as well. What a wonderful, wonderful gift for someone you love, someone who loves their music, someone who loves their icons. And remember the collectability here as well, because every one of them is a limited edition as well. So the number that you receive, absolutely, completely exclusive to you no one else in the world has it and remember the postage with us is free here in the UK and that's always good news to hear isn't it it really sure lovely. is uh, right we've got another one for you and we are looking at one of the Beatles Mr John Lennon oh we're not worthy oh and the album Imagine from September 1971 by Apple Records. Yoko Ono um, co-produced this. Um, and a lot of the lyrics as well when I was reading about it is about reflecting peace, love and politics. Which and of course is what John was all about, wasn't of course, he? Yeah, he, all he, about he peace. really did want to change the world, didn't yeah, he? Yeah. He wanted everyone to enjoy the nirvana of peace that 
that he felt he had. I could, very much a, a chilled out person. Oh, wasn't completely. He? Very laid back. And, and can you imagine just having been in his company for half an hour? How what the impression it would leave with you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because he really was. He was such a broad thinker. Um, wasn't he? And he had such an open mind. He was way ahead of his time, I think, in terms of his thinking. Um, I think it'd be somebody who a lot of people would say, you know, they say, right, if you could have three people dead or alive, who you would have at a dinner oh, party. Oh, your dinner party? Yeah. Oh, it'd have to be on a desert island, though, for John, wouldn't it? Yeah. It would absolutely yeah, have to true. be somewhere sunny and chilled out. Yeah. Do you know, isn't it funny that um, you can tell an icon by simple things? So if anybody in a sentence just randomly says the word imagine on its own, mm. everyone starts singing, don't they? Imagine, imagine all, all that. People. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. And I, think, and I think that shows you, doesn't it, just how indelible the legend of that one song is. And you could never mistake that song, even if a, a thousand other artists had covered it, mm. your mind would go straight to John Lennon, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. Completely and utterly. Um, and I think that's real testament to legend, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. And this is great, especially if John was your favourite Beatle. Maybe you love the Beatles, yeah. but John was kind of, oh, you know, yeah. he's the heartthrob for me of it all. Yeah, I think we could, I think John would have um, coped in, I mean, I didn't know him personally, obviously, at all. <laughs> Never encountered him. He's just a, a legend in my mind. But I think John would have dealt very, very nicely and would have helped us deal very, very nicely with what's been going on in the world recently, don't you? It's such a lovely gift, actually, this, isn't it? It's such a, it's such a moment in time. It's such a moment in our own history, this, isn't it? A little slice of that imagine magic can all be yours. Log on now to allstardiscs.tv to grab yourself a piece of authentic music memorabilia. For that special on-screen price, you'll receive an exclusive framed and mounted presentation display that will look fabulous in any home, office or business. Order today and you'll enjoy free UK P&P, saving $9.99. Plus, you can choose to spread the cost of your purchase over six interest-free payments. So, don't miss out. Each release is limited to only 150 pieces worldwide. And when they've gone, they've gone. Order yours now at allstardiscs.tv. Uh, you know what? We cannot kind of tell you enough how what you said then. Once it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely true. It won't be repeated in that same format no. ever again. No. So you really have got that exclusivity as well. And there are plenty more as well. Mm. Should we have a little look? Yes, Let's we have, have a little look at what else we've got, got for you. David, Mr. Bowie, of course, Heroes. Now, this is great as well because my daughter is watching something at the moment called We Are Heroes. And one of the girls on there, her superpower, she sings and she sings the song. Oh, does she? Yeah, yeah, and it kind of helps to kind of like change the world. Yeah, it's brilliant. Heroes is on there, Beauty and the Beast, of course. Uh, very, very well known and an absolute legend and a great jawline as well. Not only do we have David, but we also have Prince Purple Rain. Just amazing. Again, Purple Rain. What a song title that is. How you would think of just Purple Rain. Yeah, it's quite bizarre, isn't it? Actually? Yeah, it is. But, great. but it's a lovely and song. So many people, I'm sure it'll take you back to certain times at school, at university, when you're out, the dance floor, any kind of love interest that you've had. <laughs> uh, so they really do evoke lots and lots of memories. Uh, but yeah, Prince definitely um, somebody who has, I'm sure, had an impact on many people. Oh, and we've also yeah. got Queen. It's a kind of oh. magic. Yeah. That's all you just need to click yeah. and just sing That's that. all you need, isn't it, yeah. really? Just brilliant. So remember, these are amazing gold discs. They're a great size, limited edition. They are exclusive to All Star Dish. You will not find them anywhere else. And what's great as well is that it's free P&P. &P. There's plenty more like this on the website. And not only that, but you can spread the cost as well. And make sure when you do have a look on the website, look for the little red signs, because that means there's money off. I like, yeah. I like a bargain. Absolutely. It's, do you know, all of those as well have just reminded me, we don't buy compilation albums anymore, do we? 
No. We buy artist-specific albums these days. Yeah, that's true. So you might have been introduced to some of these legends through compilation albums as mm -hmm. well, which are very much a thing of the past now, aren't they? They sure are. But this is just a great show. Do stay tuned because we've always got a little bit of music legendary coming up for you. Uh, but from the red carpet of All Star Discs, we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. See you later.